Is the camera crooked? Oh well. What is up you guys? That was so enthusiastic. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited because today I get to talk about all of my favorite things. I'm gonna be showing you guys a few of my favorite products slash things for this past month. Uh, so uh, let's let's just get into it. Face favorites. First thing on my face favorite list is the Clinique Dramatically Different. I don't like that word. I'm not gonna use the word. It is face lotion. I'm just gonna call it that. I don't like the other word for it. Don't ever use it. It's gross. Don't like it. I really like this stuff. It goes on like a lotion. It's usually cold, like when I put it on my face, which is weird because I don't like refrigerate or anything. Uh, but I don't know, it's really nice, it's like refreshing, and um, I feel like it's really just helping my pores. <laughs> on to the next thing. I caught it. Did you see that? I'm gonna put that back in slow motion. If you if you didn't. On to the next thing. Next thing on my face favorite lip is Lipstick! As many of you know, I love my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, and this month I have been wearing a lot of this specific color. Uh, it is Melted Coral, and it looks... it's... it's orange. It's an orange lipstick, but it, it's like a ready orange. I don't even know how to... I've been wearing it a lot. You could probably find pictures of me having it on. It's really great, and I like the consistency of it. It lasts fairly long, actually. Like, after I eat, it's still there. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about. That's a good thing. So yeah. Next face thing, eyeliner. And not just any eyeliner. Ow, my hip. <laughs> is this is what old people feel like. It is the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in the color black. Uh, this stuff is incredible. I'm not wearing it right now, nor was I wearing the red lipstick. I really didn't plan this video out. <laughs> but just trust me, I mean most, this is just a weird phase I'm going through in the past three days I have worn eyeliner, but every other day I use this stuff like it's my job. This stuff is amazing and I know that liquid eyeliners are difficult and everyone has their own opinions by them, but this one literally goes on so easy. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know if it's like the felt tip design or what, but I have used so many liquid eyeliners in my day and this one just goes on. So it just makes the cat eye like effortless until it starts to run out because then the felt tip starts to get these little frays at the end and get a new one, that's what you know. Last face favorite is this. It's uh, the EOS chapstick. I don't know, is it EOS or EOS? I've always said EOS. I don't know, don't kill me if I'm wrong. I have always been a fan of the Burt's Bees chapstick. Not just any Burt's Bees though, because some of them are not very good. I like the, uh, what is it called? The Island scent. It smells like vacation. It's so impossible to find. Like, I don't know what its deal is. The only place that I could always find it, and it's the most random thing ever, is Cracker Barrel. I was here in like Walmart and I needed chapstick, like I was dying and I was all out, so I got this. And I've used them before, but I don't, I've never liked the flavors of it, but whatever this flavor is, the little lavender, and you guys know me, lavender is. Aesthetic, on aesthetic, on aesthetic. Oh, it's hard. Aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic. It's my aesthetic. Okay, I like it. It's good. Use it. Body favorites. I'm gonna get back here because I don't know if you can see me. It's this jumpsuit. I freaking love this thing. Let me tell you a thing or two about this jumpsuit, if you can even see it. This jumpsuit, I bought maybe like, ooh, over a year ago. Like it's, it's almost been two years, I'd say. And it was one of those things that I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this all the time. I'm gonna be super fashionable and cute and trendy and no one will know what hit him. And guess how many times I wore it after I bought it? I was, you know, digging through my closet the other day trying to find outfits to wear for my coffee sessions video. Plug, plug. And I just, I came across it. It was like a light from heaven came down and 
there it was. And I was like, oh, you know what? I haven't worn this in a while. I should dry it on. I put it on and it was like, just thought I'd share. It's my favorite. Shoe favorites are these. These Steve Madden sandals and they have like a bunch of different little things and there's like snake skin, not real snake skin. And they're already getting a little worn because I wear them pretty much every day. Music favorite. I don't know what the actual name is. All I know is that I went to Apple Music and I don't know if all of you have Apple Music, but it's really great and I like it a lot, honestly. Filter Sunshine Paradise Tropical. It's spelled weird here. I'll show you. I don't know if you will focus on here, but that is what it is. If not, I'll leave a link to it in the description. The music on this playlist is so good. It's like super vibey and like beachy and summery and dance. YouTube favorite. I found this thing on YouTube Red. YouTube Red. And uh, it's Joey Graceffa. I don't know if any of you guys know him. He's a YouTuber. Really, really awesome. He created his own YouTube Red series show. Thing. It's kind of like Netflix, I guess you could say now. And the first episode was free, so I streamed that one, and it was really interesting. It's called Escape the Night, I think, or something like that. Um, and it's like a spooky kind of thriller show. Joey, it, he inherits like a big estate, and he invites his friends over to come to dinner. And uh, the only catch is they have to come in 1920s attire with no electronics and they are each given a persona that they have to play like that part and uh you know they're all eating a dinner and then something bad happens but the funny thing for me is it's like set up like a uh, documentary type uh, reality show so like they have the characters doing their thing and i think i've heard it's actually not it wasn't scripted but i could be wrong about that one because it seems very uh unscripted but they have like a separate scene where they're interviewing the character. I don't know, you get it? Am I just rambling? Maybe stop, okay. Food favorite! I'm not sure why this is my July favorite. I feel like it should be like my like October favorite, but mm, tomato soup. I eat it, <laughs> literally like every day. My favorite tomato soup is actually the Progresso tomato basil. It's really good, you should check it out. Well, that sums up my July favorites. What are some of your favorites? Some of your favorite makeup or your favorite song. Actually, you should definitely leave your favorite song because I would love some new music to listen to. I love finding new things. So comment down below your favorite song. I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>